The Witness. Starring Joseph Cotton and Rosemary DeCamp in The Witness. And here is your host in Hollywood, Robert Young. In the normal course of most any day, every one of us is a witness to matters of life and death. The way we involve ourselves in these vital matters makes our own lives worthwhile or meaningless. When tragedy befalls an adult, we, of course, feel deep sympathy. But when tragedy strikes children, when an innocent child suffers abuse at the hands of a parent, the normal person feels only infuriating and blinding rage. Such a man is Cliff Raines. Call the ambulance, you? Yes. Uh, what's your name? Cliff Raines. I'm a county social worker. Hurry, please. Where's the kid? Upstairs in the bedroom. Pop in the back. Let's go. Sergeant Dalton, over here. Oh, hi, Cliff. Is this child beating one of your cases? No, I just happened to be in the building. I heard the kids scream. Well, on the phone, you said the father ducked out when the neighbors started yelling. Which way? Down the back alley. Hey, Smith, the back alley. Take Kelly. I'll have a look inside. Okay, Sergeant. All right, come on, Cliff. I'll ask you some questions as I take a look around. If you don't mind, I don't want to see it again. I'm not squeamish about many things, Sergeant, but when it's a kid... Yeah, it's pretty rotten, isn't it? Is he in bad shape? Like he was attacked by an animal. <laughs> Okay, you're clear. Take your time. There's no hurry. Oh, no. You mean he's... Uh... His poor little kid was beaten to death, Sergeant. What a scum. A rotten scum. He killed him, Mr. Watson. A little boy with blue eyes. I think he was about two, maybe three years old. Oh, now, okay. Now, take it easy, Cliff. Take it, it easy. still had tears on his cheeks. Well, no matter how often you see it, it's still the same. It seems the kids are the scapegoats for all the miseries of the world. You're right. Why don't you go on home, Cliff? You can't get any work done today. Well, I think... If we're going to do our jobs as social workers, we can't go to pieces. Hmm. We have to find ways to stop cruelty. I wish I could get it out of my mind. Well, thank goodness we're having some friends in for dinner, a couple we haven't seen in years. Oh, good. I'll give you a chance to remember that not everybody in the world is like what you saw today. I hope not. Tell you the truth, I'm beginning to wonder. problems early to let me off. Oh, was it bad? The worst. A child. Huh. <gasps> Beaten to death. Beaten by his own father. Oh, no. It's horrible. Well, spare me the details, please. <laughs> I'm glad Howie and Jean are coming tonight. I'd like to forget. Oh, I'd still hear the screams. Oh, the father ran out, I suppose. Right. I, I just can't forget that child's face. Do Howie and Jean have any kids? Yes, one, but it's a little girl, if that'll help any. How old? Not two or three, I hope. No, no, she's about nine. Yeah. Named Debbie. <laughs> Beautiful little blue-eyed blonde. Oh, no. The little boy had blue eyes. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Gene, but it's almost ready. Just relax. You've got a long trip. How was the driving today, Howie? Pretty rough? Uh, not bad. Not bad. It was terrible. Debbie, stop bothering Mr. Raines. I'm not bothering. No, Debbie, you're not bothering me at all. What did you want to ask me? I was just wondering, do you have any books I could read or anything like that? Debbie, you don't need anything. Now just sit and be a big girl. Uh, De- Debbie... We might have something in the kitchen, dear. I'll look. Oh, please, Cliff. It isn't necessary. She just wants attention. Well, I know. Excuse me. Oh, Cliff, close that refrigerator, would you? Hey, what's this about? Fran, you, you should see how they treat that child. Oh, Cliff, now try to forget, please. They're our guests. I don't know how I'm going to make it through through the dinner if she keeps it up. Have you seen those books Bob's girl left here last summer? Oh, yeah, and they're in the supply closet right behind you. Yeah. And I think you're exaggerating the treatment of the girl because of today, don't you? Am I? Or am I just seeing more clearly? Fran, this casserole is delicious. Thank you, Howie. I bet it was a mix. Debbie. Well, you always use mixes, Mommy. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes it's hard to tell these days, isn't it, Debbie? Howie, if you don't do something about this Uh, child... All right, uh, Debbie, settle down now. (laughs) It was such a long ride. Don't excuse her. I'm sorry, Fran, but will you excuse us, please? Come on, Debbie, I want to have a little talk with you. Mommy, please. Uh, look, maybe if you just... Uh, Cliff, uh, would you pass Howie some more of the casserole? Come, oh, Debbie. Uh, Daddy. Uh, mind your mother. Now, listen to me, young lady. I've had about enough of this, and I mean it. Do you hear? Yes, Mommy. Now, I want you to march right back to that table and not another word. Not a word. Excuse me, I left something in the kitchen. Cliff? I'll be back just a minute. Now, maybe we can have some peace. Where's Cliff? Well, he uh, he had a pretty difficult day today. Uh, very difficult. Oh, I, I thought he seemed kind of quiet. Uh, I'll bet in social work you have to deal with some pretty weird people sometimes. Yes. You know, the, the, the worst. Uh-huh. Well, people are people on every level of society. They, uh, they have a lot in common. I'm sorry. I, I think I'd like to check on Cliff. Excuse me. Terribly hard for you, I know it is. Why is there so much cruelty in people, Fran? Well, Why is it that children... Children have to absorb it? Maybe it's a blessing they're too young to understand that, if it's true. Maybe when we've got one of our own... Life. Sure. Sure, the old argument that you have to be a parent to be understood. Of course... But any human being knows that a child is not a thing, not a piece of property, not a chattel. Yes, but the moment you say anything to Howie and Jean in there about what they're doing to their child, you know what their answer is. Then I'm going to have to sit there and watch and keep my mouth shut. Is that it? Have you a better suggestion? That was a meal and a half. That dessert was out of this world. Oh, it was lovely once we got settled down to it. I'm sorry about that, Jean, jumping up and down the way we did. Well, it was a lot easier after we got Debbie quiet. (laughs) Mommy's sorry, dear. I was so upset with my little sweetheart. May I be excused now? Oh, oh, why don't we go, all of us, into the living room where we'll be more comfortable? Well, uh, why don't you men go on? I'll help Fran clear the table. Can I help, please? No, Debbie, you're so clumsy I wouldn't trust you. Oh, it's all right, Jean. I, I'm sure she'll be careful. Uh, Howie, let's accept that offer before they change their minds. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's been swell getting together this way after all these years. 
Well, people sure can get separated over the years. I hardly ever see any of the old gang anymore. We had a lot of fun, didn't we, Cliff? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the times we used to have. How do you like social work? Well, it has its rewards, and some days you wish you could forget it. I don't like any job, I suppose. Yeah, well, uh, what happened today? Your friend said you had a real rough one. Be careful, Daddy. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? Well, let's step out on the porch for some air. I'll, I'll tell you about it. So I called the police, and they sent an ambulance over, and too late then. Did they get the guy? I hope they caught him and threw the book at him. I'm sure they did. He, he couldn't have got very far. My little girl has blue eyes. <laughs> did you notice? Yes. Beautiful. She's a lovely child. Parents forget sometimes, don't they, Cliff? What a wonderful thing it is to have a child to love. You know, that's what I've always thought, Howie. A child is not something you own. It's something God sort of lends people. And the child is to love. That's what they're for. That's a good theory, Cliff. Especially for someone who isn't a father. Or <laughs> well, maybe not being one lets me see the trees instead of being too deep in the forest. We decided to go ahead with the dishes. With three of us working, it, it moves real fast. Well, Debbie's a good helper, aren't you, sweetie? Don't talk to her while she's working. She gets careless and drops things. Ah, not Debbie. She's all right. Thank you, Daddy. Debbie! I didn't mean to do it. Oh, you're... Mommy, don't mommy. Stop it, Jean. Stop it. Do you hear me? That's enough. That child, I could kill her. What, what did you say? She... She upset me so much, I... I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Get your things, Jean. We're leaving. And on the way home, I'm going to tell you a story, one I hope we both never forget. You have been listening to The Witness. Here again is your host, Robert Young. A child is to love. A child is to protect. A child is to be taught. A child is what we make of it. A child can only follow example. If we deal out unreasonable punishment when a child is the most unlovable, we teach the child to face life with the same unreasonable attitude. Hostility begets hostility. Love begets love. Isn't love the only way to sanity and understanding and peace? I'd like to thank Joseph Cotton, Rosemary DeCamp, Parley Bear, Virginia Gregg, and Sandy Wormser for sharing their talents with us. And thanks to each one of you for being with us. Transcribed in Hollywood, The Witness is produced by Marjorie Hunt Pearson, directed by Thomas Freebairn Smith, and written by Don Hall. This is Art Gilmore speaking for the Episcopal Church, which presents The Witness. We hope you'll join us again soon for the next Witness.